Imagine what it feels like for years to be the butt of everyone's jokes. No exclusives, no Japanese support, anything they actually have can be played on PC. Is your console even real? Well, Microsoft must have taken that very personally because... You never see it They made sure that no one would ever laugh at them again when they had to buy an Xbox just to play Elder Scrolls, or when they had to make an Outlook account to play the new Call of Duty, or when they had to pay $120 a year for online. Bruh, Phil Spencer, what were you thinking? Gaming. I'm just kidding, of course. Microsoft has been pretty cool with their exclusives, and I think if anyone is going to respect the consumer space as a whole, it's definitely these guys. Definitely. On top of that, one of the cheapest ways today to experience new games is Game Pass, which has just been killing it with Japanese titles. Dragon Quest, Danganronpa, Katamari, AI the Somnium File, shout out the sequel comes out in like two weeks, Final Fantasy, Yakuza. Uh, so it turns out that Yakuza 0, Kiwami 1 and 2 was taken off Game Pass some time ago. They've got the remastered collection 6 and Like a Dragon, but uh, those were the best ones, so Game Pass now sucks, and this video is over. Phil Spencer wasn't finished though, he hungered for more power to make Game Pass a place where anyone could feel welcome, yup. Even these scoundrels. And so they did the impossible, breaking the 25-year mainline multi-platform lock, shut up, and for the first time bringing not one, but three numbered Persona games to a non-Sony console. Absolutely legendary. We've seen spin-offs make it other places, but actual Persona titles, one of which has been locked to the PSP and is offensively priced because of it? It's nothing short of amazing and completely worth the hype of making a video where I have no goal but to indulge in the hype. Because these games are so astounding and are not first party, so why shouldn't they be as available as possible? So many of my friends don't have a PSP or a PS3, but an Xbox with Game Pass? Easy. I know, lots of people want them on the Switch, and this might not be that, but it's definitely a huge step towards it, and who knows, we're supposed to have a Direct soon, so maybe Maybe. Okay, so we're getting three games, why don't we nitpick them a little bit, because that's the Voyan way. Let's start with Persona 3, which, yeah, I'm a little conflicted on. I've already talked about why we need a 3 remake, but okay, if I had to choose between whether I'd bring Portable or FES, I think FES with playable party members would be just the most satisfying and easy option. I get you though, Atlas, you can't just ignore all the extra work and content put into Portable, I mean, you can play as a girl, that's like my lifelong dream. It's just, are you really gonna have this super duper graphics device with ray tracing and blast processing just to have this be your Persona 3 experience? Nothing against Portable, but it's called Portable for a reason, it makes sense on the go. If anything, I just hope we see these prices come down now that it's finally been re-released, and maybe a wider interest in 3 would show Atlas that they could go further. Now Persona 4 Golden? 100% the best choice, and there's nothing wrong with that. When the Vita first came out, it was advertised as being console quality on the go, and I think Golden is one of the few titles to actually settle that prophecy. So it's surprising it took until now to see it actually be on a console that wasn't this thing, it will be very at home on the Xbox, and I cannot wait for everyone who played 5 and wanted more to start working backwards, Connor. And I really like how Atlas or Microsoft is releasing them in descending order. And lastly, Persona 5 Royal, in my opinion, the peak of the series. Yes, I am ready to fight in the comment section. An amazing cast of characters spun into a critique of social suspension and modern politics, beautiful music, lively environments, Tay Takemi sporting some of today's finest turn-based combat to prove that even in the current generation, it can still be fun and oh so stylish. Everyone with Game Pass should experience this gem, and I hope that this October they will. And maybe if you like these games and you find yourself curious about what else is out there, uh, maybe a little SMT4, a little Devil Survivor, a little, you know, Surf and Turf. Oh yeah, Persona 1 and 2? Ah, well, Xbox may not have been able to scoop them up this time, but I'm sure they'll get a re-release somehow.